Let's draw the Bohr-Rutherford diagram for silicon, the 14th element in the periodic table according to this. It's either 14 and my average atomic mass is 28. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That 14, the atomic number, is the same as the number of protons in the atom. 14 protons, check. The number of neutrons is the mass. Now you're gonna round this to the nearest whole number, that's 28, and subtract the number of protons. In this case, I get 14 for neutrons. The fact that these numbers match is a coincidence. It won't always be like that. 14 and 14 makes 28 things in the nucleus of the atom. There you go. The Bohr-Rutherford diagrams are all about the electrons. Silicon, the neutral atom, is going to need 14 electrons. So let's get to work. The first shell can hold two. The second shell can hold up to eight. And I'm certainly going to need all eight because I got to get up to 14. Please note I'm doing one at a time, one, two, three, four singles before I double any up. Five, six, seven, eight. That's just good form when you're doing a Bohr-Rutherford diagram. But I need 14 and I've only put 10 dots so far. So I'm gonna need a third shell. Now as long as you're dealing with any element, calcium or earlier, which this is, this is 20 or less, you can fit up to eight in the third shell. I only need four more, so I'm just gonna put four more there. One, two, three, four valence electrons in that outer shell, and I'm done. 14 protons, 28 minus 14 is another 14 neutrons, and because of the 14 protons, I need 14 electrons total in my shells. Two in the first, eight in the next, and only four in the third shell. That was pretty easy. Try set elements on your own, and best of luck.